My guess is you've never heard of The Wild, and the truth is very few people have. It wasn't a critical hit, it wasn't an audience hit, it wasn't a financial hit, so it disappeared pretty fast and nobody ever talks about it or even remembers it. And to be honest, yeah, I can kinda see why, but on the other hand, there's some really good, funny stuff in this. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, especially considering how the other half of this stuff is not so great. In fact, it's kind of obnoxiously annoying. But good lord, not only is some of the comedy in this funny, but it's inventive. I mean, there's some real out-of-the-box jokes in this movie. I think they deserve to sort of be acknowledged. The premise? A lion and his cub live in a New York zoo. The cub is feeling envious because he doesn't match the bravery and the stories of his father. So he decides to run away and try to find his own adventure leaving the father, played by Kiefer Sutherland, and a band of misfits to go after him to see if they can get him back. These misfits include a koala, played by Eddie Izzard, a giraffe, played by Jeannie Garofalo, a squirrel, who's totally in love with her, and a not very bright snake. So, yeah, on the surface, this sounds like a very nothing kind of story, and maybe that's why a lot of people didn't see it. Well, okay, I have to be honest, that's not the only reason. Lines like this are why. Let's get Ryan, dude! Dude! dude. You said it at the same time! Yes, that is stupid. But on the other hand, they come across some really inventive stuff in this film. Like a group of undercover geckos whose camouflage is beyond impressive, a religion of wildebeest who think a koala toy that fell from the sky is God, and probably the only enjoyable game of sweeping you'll ever see in your entire life. I like the characters in this movie. Like I said, they don't always get a laugh, but I do enjoy their interactions off each other, and you do feel sort of this camaraderie. They're enjoyable to watch, and every single time a groaner joke would come up, I would tell myself, eh, you know what, I still want to keep going. And for every bad joke there is in this movie, there's always a good joke. I was made to nibble and be elegant and to appear in children's books as the letter G. I'm not good enough for you to eat or something. No, it's just I'm allergic to nuts. Don't panic, I'm in charge here. That's why we're panicking. Well, that settles it then. <sighs> my mother definitely drank pool water when she was pregnant with me. I think my favorite just for surrealness has to be this one. Ah, the garbage is live! That is such a strange line, how can you not laugh at it? The Corbin is live! Ah! I'm usually not one for villains in these movies either, but the backstory they give this villain and his cult is just so much fun, and it's so inventive, and it's always constantly funny. Even the side villain, played by Patrick Warburton, he's pretty enjoyable. And he better not screw this up like you screwed up my dance number. I lost count for one verse. Step, kick, pivot, kick, walk, walk, walk! Oh, why do we even bother rehearsing? So, I'm kind of torn on this. I mean, on the one hand, it is pretty annoying, and some of these jokes really are painful. But on the other hand, if I didn't sit through them, I never would have gotten to the really funny jokes, or these characters, or these really inventive situations. So, kind of half and half, but honestly, I'd say go see it. I think everybody will find at least one or two jokes that would make them say it was worth the price of admission. For me personally, I found a lot more, including some creative characters and creative setups. I mean, much more effort was put into these jokes than, say, Chicken Little or Car 2. And those are no more than this film. Give it some credit and at least watch and judge for yourself. It deserves the option to be known about. By no means flawless, in fact in reality it probably has too many flaws, but the stuff that's good, I'm really glad I saw. And surprisingly, I may even check it out again in the future. Take it for what's worth and find out for yourself. Yeah,